Hello people, what's this over here? Today I want to show you the ice cream I made. This is made of lime yogurt and mandarin. And I'm curious how it tastes. Let's eat. because it's frozen very hard It's just, um, I'm not a fast eater, as you can see. It's like, here it is. I also want to whisper about the survival strategies. There are a lot of things in life when we do. It hasn't always been that fast. In general, and I see people take decisions, it's mostly they are very fast, too impulsive. I mean, you take a decision, be sure it's for a long term and not for a short term. Because when you take a, a long term decision, you may enjoy more than you take short term decisions. And be sure don't get lazy because when you get lazy you gotta be slow. You're getting slow. And when you take decisions, don't take decisions because people tell you to do how to do. But do your own research before you take a decision and don't let people decide it for you. Don't let people take the decision for you because otherwise you won't learn. You won't learn the part of critical thinking. You won't learn the part of critical, critical thinking. You see, this is the orange part. When you make a habit, you think for yourself and make
make a decision for yourself for the long term you're gonna be improve yourself every time and it is one of the survival strategies I use always improve don't forget to train your eyes your eyes getting sharp when you try to see things you want to see but also you will see things you don't want to see train your ears because when you train your ears you will hear things from a distance because like I'm coaching a lot of people from two department I always have sharp ears I hear things from a distance I hear, I hear people talk sense to try to feel you follow your intuition all parts you need it for taking decisions in life and don't get lazy don't just do the easy things even you do the easy things I call it a task the easy things if you do easy things for years for the a task what are you going to do to improve to do the B task C task D task the more difficult task it means when you do only easy things and you get comfortable you get too comfortable you just say to yourself okay that's okay I accept the situation how it is I'm not going to improve when you get too in for comfortable you're just going to get passive always try to look what steps you can take what 10 steps what 10 steps what kind of 10 steps you can take for in the future yeah believe me I think about the situation. 
situation, but that's not going to help me to improve myself. I always look back. Hey, what have I done wrong that caused the failure? And what can I improve about myself? Just like on the work floor, when people ask me, hey, how could you be so fast? Because mostly there's a task. Um, my co-workers are like the same level like me, but we have the same task. The same task. I do it in ten minutes. They do their task in an hour. So what's the difference? Brains. Just the brains. I'm not gonna say they are dumb. They are talking with other co-workers for fun and having the party. I use the time for work. I use the time for thinking. I use the time to draw a map. I use the time to draw this map in my head. And I have I make a planning while they are having fun with each other. But this is the difference. And and so always they ask me, hey, how can you finish this task in 10 minutes? And I'll say, yeah, because you take the time to have fun instead, you take the time to work. It's important to make a planning for what you do. And be, be sure when you do things, do it with 100%. Not just um, give like 10%, 20% um, of just doing things and not finishing things. And that's us always like you start a, a task but you don't finish the task. So how can it be 100% if you do something? second hard thing let's eat it again but it's more like the eating but I try and also a thing in comparison with the ice cream don't ever give up try 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 till you make it there's always things you never give up, give up, and there are other things that gives you energy to keep going. And I'll tell you about 100 attempts to finish the task is better than start a task and not finishing a task. what's good not good for your health the things that are not good for your mental health and physical health so um, there's a lot of internet you can search about how you make money how you make career and how to get healthy a lot of information but don't let this information influence you and accept this like the whole truth um, do your own research before you dig in this information and that will help you to make decisions in life. That was my ice cream, I'm done. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> it's just uh, enough for today.
Thank you very much. I'll see you. Bye-bye.